previously on Estate Blues. There's someone you have been talking to and it's been going well. No, Sissi. It's not like she's new when did You know, the saddest thing with betrayal is that it never comes from your enemies. It always comes from those you trust and love the most. The people you keep at heart. I guess the probability is always 50-50 cut. I mean, for someone like me, I can never get to the point of betraying you. Same applies to me. I'm not saying that, brother. But Shamaria needs some serious help. Lord, I was listening to Kara when he was speaking to us earlier. Man, that guy looks like someone who's going for revenge. The Conger. And another man. Right now he's like a wounded lion. I'm afraid that whatever or whoever comes in his way may be swallowed. Sarah, you not as is ever good, Simbino or Icha Pisa. O can go no care. No, she was. I knew her into some feminine genius that she is today. In other words, it is because of me that she is the woman she is. Wait, are you telling me that she has become that dog who's biting the owner? I got a call from Isabel. She's taking legal actions against you. You know what? In the past, she has proved to be a boss of note. Boss my foot. You know this. She has underestimated what I'm capable of doing. She surely shut down my capabilities. You know what? You know how we do. If the snake becomes a problem, we cut its head off. Just give me the word and it's done. Well, this one, it's not the type we just need to cut his head off. We need to fuel it up, light up some fire, and let it burn like hell. So I was going through our finances and I noticed that a couple of millions were channeled towards the election campaign for your aunt. But it wasn't specified if it was a donation or if it was an investment. Yeah, but how could I forget that? It was an investment, but uh, I'm sure we can always convert it into a donation. Good cause. Hmm. That's all good. But we'll need to record specifically what the man was used for. Or better yet, if there are developments, we might as well see if there are any. Um, I'll get my auntie to furnish us. In the meantime, I need you to arrange with Steve. I need you to meet with our Pretoria friend and make sure he's got all our cash in full. Okay, sure. So, do you want us to rough him up a little bit? Well, I guess that depends on Steve. Whether when they took the money away from him, did they rough him up or what? <laughs> he may want to exert some revenge, you know? Mm. I'm sure Steve will be happy to hear that. They must have scared the hell out of him that side. Yeah. But whatever you do, just bear one thing in mind. This guy deserves some sort of reward.
So, so, what brings you here? You came home late last night. This morning, you literally freaked out. Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry. Look, darling. Of late, I've been swamped up with this new business strategy. I mean, I thought it was something I could easily do, but I only realized after takeoff that it was so complicated. Relax, Kata. I'm not complaining. You're not? I just thought I passed by and let my husband know how much I love him and miss him at the same time. Babe, yeah. we live in the same house. Which you literally sneak out of, remember? Yeah, yeah, well. Look, perhaps we can do lunch. I mean, it's been a long time. You're busy, Kata. Just this little time of your way. Are you sure? Um, babe, there is something I have always wanted to say to you. Yeah? I want to apologize for all the trouble that Bella put you. Look, babe, it's not your place to apologize on her behalf. She's an adult and she has to own up to your actions. Yeah, I know, but I brought her into her lives. If I hadn't been worried about it, all this would never have happened. It never happened. You did good. You thought you were helping out a friend. You didn't know she had bad intentions. Yeah. Yeah. I knew she was bad, but I thought she had reformed. Well, you know what they say. You can always take an African out of Africa, but you can never take Africa out of an African. Some characteristics can never leave us. <laughs> True that. <laughs> so, how did it go with the quarter thing? Are you forgetting what I do, babe? Courts are for criminals, not the innocent. It's okay, Fatima. Just that I've been having this curiosity thing to see you after such a long time. But tell me about this curiosity thing. Where has it been all those years? I mean, probably in a bank, maturing, and I feel like now is the time to withdraw. <laughs> Shagawa, you never run out of words, don't you? Well, you know what they say, the voice is a representation of what's in the heart. And trust me, I do have a lot to tell you. I guess I can only wait and see. So, I have good news for you. Good news? Now, that's something I can use right now. What is it? I'll be coming to Arari in 10 days. This time, it could be for good. You mean... You are going to be available? If I get myself a good reason to. Well, I can think of one. Me, for example. Are you sure about that? Definitely, 100%. I mean, trust me, you will not regret this. Well, Gonya, you've become so sweet. But you know what they say, right? Be careful of what you wish for. And what do you mean by that? Do your research. Anyway, I have to go. Talk later. Okay, bye.
<laughs> I'm sure you don't remember me. Of course I do. You're Mr. Carter's auntie. Who doesn't remember you? <laughs> well, you are welcome. Let me get straight to the point. Yeah. Huh? My kind of people. <laughs> you here because I need your help but you know what Carter does not have to know about this white are you asking me to do things for you behind my boss I'm sorry you got the wrong girl I don't do that can you hear me out this is not about backstabbing cut if that is what you are thinking then what is this all about I hate Carter's Speaking to someone. In fact, he was telling his wife how good you are with your work. Excuse me, is this supposed to make me happy or what? Carter spoke highly of you, especially regarding your investigative work. Yeah, I've been an investigative journalist for five years now. And not too long, but my passion for my work has made me good at what I do. I have a problem. Mm -hmm which I want you to help me solve. Okay. Someone stole some money from me and he disappeared into the thin air. Some of the money was loaned to me by Carter. He thinks I used it for my constituents' work, which is why I said he doesn't have to know about this. And you know my loyalty lies with Carter, right? Line it, woman to woman. I need your help here. If Sissy gets to know about this, you won't be able to chip in and help again. Please. What is it that you want me to do for you? I want you to trick the guy. Recover the man. Beat the yell out of him and <laughs> wait. Are you telling me that you want me to mess him up? Whatever you do, leave him breathing. <laughs> Help me understand something here. You want me to do something for you, right? And you don't want your brother to know about this. Mm -hmm. You know you have to pay a lot of money for this. I'll pay. Mm -hmm. Just get my money back. Okay. Fine. I'll come back to you with your bill. But as of now, you don't call me. I call you. Carmen, so I met up with Karen a bit earlier. Yes. She said that we should go and get our money from the bank. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, yeah. Let's say that again. But he did say something that she still stayed me up at you. What are you talking about, Kimba? Can you believe that he said that guy who stole money from you, Carter's money, is going to get some kind of reward? A little bit of cash. What? Can you believe that? I was also equally shocked, man. Because the cara that I know would have ended that boy's life oh. right there and then. You know what? I thought I was the only one who noticed this. This can't be good for business. If they see us as soft, people are going to take us for a joke. You can say that again. Do you think that maybe is distracted or something? Distracted? Yeah, yeah. No. Nah. Not Carter. He's probably working on something huge. Hmm. Something that wants him or makes him avoid petty issues like this. Petty issues? Yeah. Like administering punishment to our enemies? Yeah. Something. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Come on, let's go get this cash. Let's do this.
What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? You know, the saddest thing with betrayal is that it never comes from your enemies. It always comes from those you trust and love the most. The people you keep at heart. I guess the probability is always 50-50, but... I mean, for someone like me, I can never get to the point of betraying you. Same applies to me. Betrayal is the only truth that he has. It never fades away. It sticks. Oh. I can't betray my boss. I just can't betray him. But that woman is a politician. I need you on my side. Jane, this whole thing is a nightmare. I need to figure it out. I just left. Do you know any place that can host a welcome back party? Yeah, I know lots of them. What's no occasion? Well, Fatima is coming back in about 10 days and I want you to feel special for her. Oh, okay. I see you're thinking big. Yes, Fatima Gyo must be very dear. Well, we used to click and like each other back then, so I'm just hoping maybe we can pick it up from there. Mm -hmm. If I may ask you, Nangwa, why did the two of you break up? What really happened? Um, I have to admit, that was stupid of me. Let's just say I was stuck between two girls and unfortunately I chose the wrong one. And the choice is that. We never speak of that name. Never. Yeah. So you think Fatima is forgotten? Do you think she is just going to accept you and pretend like nothing happened? Um, it's not even what I expect. But I'm just happy I get the chance to get her back. You know, women can be unpredictable at times. We never forget, especially things like that. What do you mean, yes, sister? Are you like trying to discourage me or what? No, not at all. I'm trying to prepare you for the West, brother. You may be too excited today, but things may turn out shocking the next day. You don't have to worry about anything because Atima is a good woman with a good heart. And I'm pretty sure she has like forgotten about it. Now I just need to make sure that at least she forgives me. So are you going to give me? Before I do some conduct, I know a few, but I'm sure you can pick up from there. You said you had something urgent. What is it? Kemba, I need your advice. 
Um, I'm sort of caught in between. And I don't know what to do. Talk to me, what's going on? Kara's aunt wants me to do something for her and it's got nothing to do with her work. Moreover, she doesn't want Kara to know about the thing. And did you ask her why she doesn't want Kara to know? It's kind of complicated, even for me to tell you the details. Only last week, you and I both played our allegiance to Kara. If you ask me, you should tread very carefully. Embo, his aunt is a politician. And to some extent, she's a powerful woman. So you think she can cause problems for you, huh? Lesser problems than what Kata can do to you, huh? I need your advice. Tell me what to do, Kembo. I'm stuck here. I already did. I'll put my money on telling Kata, period. 